in the inspection, you also have the ability to create reports. To create a port, click on the open report button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can open the detailed report, which includes the inspection data, or you can open a blank report that you could take out to the field and fill out by hand. Of course, this kind of defeats the convenience purpose of using the SMFT 1000, but it is an option available to you. When you open the report, this is what you'll see. And the first thing you'll notice is the buttons at the top. Some of these buttons are not used in solar reports. They're used in other report types. You can refresh report data using the little refresh button. The number of pages included in the report are going to vary depending on what type of tests and how many were taken. If you only have IV curve tests, it will probably be a shorter report, although including the IV curve graph can increase the number of pages in the report. You can go to the first and the last page and previous and next page using the different arrow buttons. There's a page setup options, which allows you to set all the print settings. You can change from portrait to landscape. You can adjust the paper size. You can connect to a printer source and you can adjust the margins of the report as well. There's also an interactive view, and that's kind of a bit of a misnomer. It's just the way the pages are organized. In the last view, we saw where we had 28 pages. There's just every page is its own. In this view, the tests are grouped together. So it's not by page number, it's by test type. So all the IV curved tests are put together, all the functional tests are put together, the visual inspection checklist is its own. So it's a way of quickly navigating through the report without having to go through each individual page. You can open the print dialog box. The options in that screen are going to vary based on what print options you have connected to your computer. Um, but that's where you can go to print hard copy or print to a PDF if you want to use an external PDF printer. You can export the data with the save button and it will open up this drop down list. And much like we saw in the IV curve report, you can export in all types of different file formats from Excel, Word, PowerPoint, PDF, and other uh, file types. You can search the report as well. You can zoom in and zoom out, and that will let you see the different information in the report. A lot of people that are using TrueTest are using the reports to export into a specific file format and then pulling data out of the report, like the IV curve data, to include in their own customized report to their clients. So that's an option as well, since you have all those file types that you can export to.